in terms of icons, the HPC really ranks up there with the best of them. Uh, in its time, it was the, the fastest, most highly developed car. Um, and as we say, it was so fast, you needed to, to do a special driving course to even drive one. Um, that gives you some idea of the performance available. Well, in 1993, the HPC was absolutely the top of the range. HPC actually stands for High Performance Course. And the reason why this model was called that was because it was so powerful that Caterham insisted that you take a high performance driving course before you were allowed to buy one. Well, this is a superb recreation of the 1993 HPC. It's detailed to a fantastic degree. Um, you have die cast parts which replicate exactly the shape. Uh, for example, we have the, the, the clam wings here, um, which were an original Lotus part um, just before they changed to cycle wings. Um, the colour scheme here is the classic dark green main body with a yellow nose cone, which replicates the look of the Prisoner 7, which was uh, made famous in the 1960s by the TV series. You have the unique wheels to this model, uh, which are HPC wheels, uh, genuine rubber tyres, which uh, absolutely duplicate the, even the tread pattern of the original tyres. And on the nose cone, you've got even a, a fantastic reproduction of the Caterham 7 logo. Uh, the bonnet is fully removable, uh, and underneath is a, a brilliantly detailed replica of the Caterham Vauxhall engine that powered the HPC and really made it what it is. So inside the car, the cockpit is produced with all the dials, all the switches as they originally were. Um, the steering wheel, gear knob, even the seat belts, the, the, the four-point harnesses, are reproduced in beautiful detail. Um, and there are functioning electrics, for example, the lights work. Um, even the wheels turn with the steering wheel, but even more than that, the suspension actually functions and is properly compliant as it would have been on the original car, so it actually goes up and down as original. So on the back there's a removable tonneau cover and underneath is the uh, the soft top, the roof that, will, that folds over, um, just as it would have been on the original car. There are also side screens which again reproduce the original cars e exactly. Well the, again the level of detail is fantastic, even in the exhaust you have um, the, uh, the protector that, which protects the uh, passenger as they come out of the car, that's, even that's reproduced in fantastic detail. Um, these are the protective plates for the rear wheel arches protecting against uh, stone chips, for example. Um, level of detail and attention is, is absolutely fantastic, I have to say.